2011, April, Athens, Greece. 828 delegates from 101 countries. 105 speakers at the podium. Athens Pact. The historic 16th World Trade Union Congress gave another great push forward to the WFTU since the Havana Congress. Important resolutions for the strengthening of the WFTU were voted democratically. A new leadership was elected. The main names for the years to come were outlined. The message to the whole world was strong. We struggle against imperialism and the capitalist barbarity for the contemporary needs of the working people. Our mission was clear. Under the conditions of the capitalist crisis and the anti-labor attack, we hold the will steady. We seek to meet the expectations of our times and we defend the demands of the working class and the popular strata with all our means. We enhance the class-oriented characteristics of our organization, we build its organizational pillars, we empower its internationalist, democratic and collective character. We support unity, cooperation and coordination of the class-oriented trade union movement. We promote the action and presence of WFTU around the world. Action, action, action. International capitalist crisis, ruthless competition of the monopolies, imperialist wars, its consequences, poverty and misery, unemployment, capitalist crimes in the workplaces, immigration and refugees, limited access in basic goods, privatizations, layoffs, attack against collective bargaining agreements and social security rights, repression of worker struggles, attack of the employers in the right to strike, imprisonments and murders of workers. WFTU was present, wherever the fire of the struggle was burning. The organization structures worked hard and effectively. The Presidential Council and the Secretariat held regular meetings in fraternal, democratic and collective spirit. The regional offices organized regional meetings which helped the coordination and the common action of the affiliates. Seven new regional and sub-regional offices were founded in Johannesburg of South Africa, in Costa Rica of Central America, in Brazil for Conosur, in Malaysia, in New York for USA Canada, in Egypt for educational purposes, in Gabon for all French-speaking Africa. The sectoral organizations, our TUIs, made steps forward following the upward course of the WFTU. A new regional organization was founded for the pensioners and the retired workers in Barcelona of Spain.
International conferences for the empowerment of the working women's movement were held in Vietnam, in Bahrain, in Cyprus. Seminars were organized in dozens of countries all over the world for the defense of the rights of the working women, the maternity protection rights, the trade union training of women trade unionists. The second international conference of working youth, which was organized in Havana, Cuba, with the presence of 135 young trade unionists from 35 countries, the International Committee of Young Workers of the WFTU was even more activated. The committee organized several activities, seminars, meetings all over the world. A great initiative for the young trade unionists. The International Camping for Young Workers was hosted twice in Cyprus. Workers' lives were lost due to serious occupational accidents, which in reality were capitalist crimes in the workplaces. The WFTU was present on the side of the working class, its unions, and the families of the victims to demand safety measures in all workplaces and the attainment of the unions and families' demands for the loss of their loved ones in Bangladesh, in Soma of Turkey and elsewhere. The acute problems of the migrants and refugees were always a priority for the WFTU. An international conference was organized inside the Parliament of the European Union in Brussels on 13-14 December 2012 with the participation of 50 trade unionists. The conference demanded full social security and labor rights, decent salaries for all migrant workers. Não se discute. Após governo mais governo. We are dealing with your problem. We are hands on. We are in Cape Town. Nine successful international action days were organized simultaneously in many countries for social security, collective bargaining and solidarity with the people of Palestine and the release of the Cuban Five in 2011, for dignified life with food, water, medicine, books and housing for all in 2012 and 2013, against unemployment fighting for full employment for all and measures of protection for the unemployed in 2014. In Colombia, elected union leader Ruben Ballesteros is in jail for three years now. In Guatemala, vice president of WFTU Julia Amparo Lotan is in prison for over a year facing fabricated charges. In Paraguay, our comrade Ruben Villalbe, a leader of rural workers, is held in prison for over four years now for organizing the struggles of his sector. We will not let these comrades alone. Not event for a moment until they are free. The WFTU is proud for these cadres and their proud and militant stance. With international campaigns, the WFTU defended the trade union freedom and demanded the immediate release of Hubert Ballesteros and movement cadres in prison in Paraguay. The 17th anniversary of the WFTU was celebrated in a glorious manner. The internationalist and militant contribution of the WFTU in the struggles of the people in its country and region was commemorated. Si alguna cosa yo pudiera recomendarle a los trabajadores y a los dirigentes honestos en todas las latitudes del mundo, afíriense a la Federación Sindical Mundial. Si ustedes pueden caminar por las luchas sociales en las que yo ando, 
No somos enemigos, pero yo soy FCM. Yo estoy sorprendido de lo que dice Internet sobre la evolución de, de la FCM, diciendo que... Fighters and veterans were honored for their contribution in the struggle. Books were written for the history of the trade union movement. An international poster competition was held with the participation of 87 workers and trade unionists from all continents. Special stamps were printed for the 17th anniversary of the WFTU by the national post offices of Greece and Brazil. <laughs> The WFTU defended and promoted the celebration of May Day, the day of the international working class. The general secretary of the WFTU, George Mavrikos, celebrated this day close to the members and friends of the WFTU, with the people of Cuba, of Belarus, of Cyprus, of Greece, of Sri Lanka. This activity inspired the affiliation of many new members across the globe. 14 million workers through their unions joined the ranks of the WFTU. The WFTU was there in the front line of the struggle against imperialism. On the side of the Palestinian people organizing international action days for the recognition of the Palestinian state and the release of all political prisoners in Israeli jails. Organizing international conferences and seminars in Palestine despite the efforts of the fascist government of Israel to block our action. The WFTU was there, on the side of all people who suffer under the imperialist aggressiveness. In Libya, in Mali, in Lebanon, in Syria. A powerful conference with the participation of 250 trade unionists in Damascus demanded the end of the imperialist intervention and war in Syria and the protection of the human rights of the refugees. The WFTU was present in the important moments of our members and friends. Dozens of cadres of WFTU traveled in every corner of the world in more than 200 missions to transfer the message of class unity and struggle to trade union congresses, demonstrations, rallies or strikes and to workplaces. The WFTU was present contributing to trade union education, building strong trade unions and trade union militants. The trade union school of WFTU started its operation in the central offices in Athens with trade unionists from South Africa, from Latin America, from North America, from East Europe. The WFTU and its members organized more than 50 successful seminars for all the issues concerning the workers, strengthening the common principles and the common action in all fields. The International Economic Forum was organized with the cooperation of ACFTU China, the WFTU, WATU and ICATU to analyze the developments in the international economy. The WFTU was here, present and consistent in the ILO, the United Nations, UNESCO and FAO. With massive meetings in the ILO, the WFTU projected its own analysis, its own demands. The activities of the WFTU during the annual International Labour Conference in Geneva were distinguished and with high numbers of participation, promoting the solidarity with the people of Palestine, of Colombia, of Venezuela, of Cuba, of Kazakhstan, of Swaziland, of Paraguay. The WFTU defended the right to strike. Our activities 
expose the plundering of the multinationals and the monopolies worldwide. We raised serious complaints about the violation of trade union rights. With our luggage full of experience, having made stable steps forward, with stronger organizational function and with ranks filled with new members, all delegates of the World Trade Union Movement, we meet in Durban, South Africa. In the blood-stained land of South Africa, from the blood of thousands of fighters for freedom, equality, for the liberation of the people of South Africa. In the land of Moses Mabida, in the land of J.B. Marx, in the land of thousands of others known and unknown South African cadres of the trade unions affiliated to WFTU. We continue this legacy. Today, we open the way for new struggles. In the 17th World Trade Union Congress, we discuss, we analyze, we decide, we implement. We become stronger. We reconstruct and empower the international class-oriented trade union movement. We build strong trade unions of the base. We build a strong WFTU. Forward for the attainment of the needs of the working people against poverty and wars generated by the capitalist's barbarity. With struggle, with internationalism, with class unity, forward! The bourgeois class, they want us without rights, without trade union freedoms, without collective agreements, without free and public education, without free and public health. They want us to be slaves in their targets for their profits. We will continue our struggles. We are not shattered. We will continue. La lucha continua. Hasta, hasta. Hasta la victoria siempre! Venceremos! Venceremos!